let's uh, go down to the floor right now, and I mentioned the name Harry Sateri, another goaltender going in the draft, and he's standing by, uh, now a member of the San Jose Sharks, Harry Sateri, standing by with Todd Lewis. San Jose Sharks select goaltender Harry Sateri. Congratulations, you can see the smile on your face. You're happy to be part of this organization. Yeah, thank you very much. Tell me about your, your game as a goaltender. Not the biggest goaltender that we've seen selected, but is it speed or agility that are your keys? I think uh, speed is my best part. I'm a pretty quick and a great skater. And, and that's important for a goaltender. It still isn't, uh, isn't well enough known that goaltenders have to be very good skaters. Yeah, that's, that's right. Uh, goaltenders need to be a great skater. What do you need to improve on in your game to get to the next level? Uh, I think uh, I can say, you know, one thing. I need to improve all the things. San Jose Sharks have a pretty good record of drafting goaltenders. That must make you proud. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm very excited. Vesa Toskala, Mika Kifrosa, Finnish goalies. Congratulations. Thanks to very much. Well, Harry Sateri, the latest goaltender to go to that goaltending factory in San Jose. Um, we're going to go upstairs to uh, Brian Duff and Craig Button. And I, I know, guys, you know, Warren Strelo was the goaltending coach for there for years. No longer with us, unfortunately, passed away. But San Jose continuing a long line of uh, good goaltenders in their organization. Well, one suspects that this uh, could pan out for them. He was the number two ranked netminder as far as uh, Central Scouting's European division was concerned. And it took until today for that first one to go. And that was Markstrom to Florida. And number 31, but Sateri slides in now to an organization that is familiar with young Finnish netminders. Yeah, they're they very, very, very familiar with young Finnish goaltenders, and they've done a great job in the middle rounds of the draft in terms of identifying players that with some coaching and some really some patience on their part, and they've demonstrated it in spades, that they can find goaltenders that can really move ahead and challenge in the NHL. You talk about Kiprasov, you talk about Vesa Toskala, you know, they got some good German goaltenders. Nabokov was a ninth round draft pick. Certainly Warren Stralo, the late Warren Stralo, was a, was a really good uh, goaltending coach, and he's left an imprint on this organization. And Harry Sateri has got a lot of good abilities, and he is going to a place which really takes their goaltenders and nurtures them and grows them. And this is a great pick. I think you've got to give the San Jose Sharks real credit for identifying another potential top goaltender in the National Hockey League. Well, Dan, San Jose went into the weekend with not many picks, but, uh, or sorry, I should say uh, an average number of picks in seven, but it took a while for them to get going and to make the most of it in round number four. Thanks, guys. Uh, unfortunately, there is disappointment at times, but that disappointment can turn into elation, and it has uh, Julian Demera say happy San Jose Shark prospect. He's with Gary Green. Julian, I saw you sitting in the stands and you were looking pretty dejected, but I see a nice smile on your face now. Yeah, well, obviously with the pick now, I got a little bit room to breathe here now, so obviously the family and everybody's really happy with the pick, and uh, going to San Jose, we're looking forward to it, especially with all the familiar faces there, so we're really happy with the choice. You're a hometown boy. You played also for Brian Kilray in the Ottawa 67s, and again, the family and friends, I'm sure, that were here today. What was going through your mind and theirs when you were sitting there and you hadn't been selected as of yet? Well, you know, you start to think just that possibly that you might not even get selected by the end of it and you have all your family and friends here. So it's almost kind of a, a feeling of disappointment if you don't get picked. So obviously with the pick now, everybody's happy and everybody's smiling. So You knew before the draft, though, that there, that there might be a possibility. You've seen drafts in the past that might, you know, that... Some kids don't get drafted. doesn't mean that they're not good hockey players. It means that maybe the time isn't right. I mean, but what made you want to be here, outside of the fact that it was in your own hometown? Oh, I think just the opportunity and the experience to go through something like this. I mean, not everybody ever gets to go through this. And just to think of all the kids that dream to go through the experience like that just makes it so much more fun and such a good experience to be here. All right. all right, now all the positive stuff now, because you have been drafted and you're wearing this sweater and this hat proudly, and you're going to Dougie Wilson's team, a general manager who played for the Ottawa 67s and Brian Kilray as well. I mean, what do you know about uh, the San Jose Sharks and how are you going to fit in? Well, we know that they got, uh, they got a lot of developing players there, uh, especially from the 67s, and that going to an organization like that, we're looking at a lot of hard work, but their team's the type of team that loves hard workers, and as long as you work, I'm sure there'll be an opportunity for me to play there. Well, you came close to tears, and now it's all tears, and so congratulations. Thank you very much.